Good evening, guys. All right. So this is seven. I believe was the time. Let me check. Seven eleven p.m. Sunday, the seventeenth of December, twenty twenty-three. And here I'm again. Yes, I'm late. <laughs> ah, every time I procrastinate this shit in the morning or or today like i think around the afternoon i had some time and i'm like okay you know what let me watch this thing first a bit and then i'm i end up here right at the end of the day and i'm forced to do this shit at this moment before i sleep and today i have the japanese class as well which i promised you guys that i'll do it today no matter what and i'm gonna do it but I'm pushing my sleep time again because of it. So, yeah, <laughs> this is completely my fault. No excuses. Um, I just did shit with my time today. So anyways, back to today. So today morning, early morning, I actually woke up and it's probably been a while since I mm, slept in a bit. Today morning I woke up, I did my whole wake up routine thing but I'm like okay you know what I want to go back to sleep and I tried to get sleep back in but I just I was wide awake and stayed awake for like half an hour and then I got back up again and it was around 5.40 somewhere and then I figured you know what like fuck it I'm gonna go for a walk and I did halfway through the walk though I had to come back early cut it short because uh, my dad was had some stomach issues so I had to get some medicine and stuff so that was that but like during early morning when I woke up the reason I somehow can how I like somehow convinced myself to get up and go for the walk was mainly because like I, I started to think you know like it's it's something if I could I want to condition myself like in my head to have this thought every time like you know I could have it so much worse there's someone out there who would kill to have what I have in my worst day right and I have a 50% chance to like I have it posted here as well like you know there's a 50% chance I might not see the sunset today tonight and it's a fact you know we all know that shit it's just that most of us and pretty much all of us um, take it for granted or maybe it's our mechanism of how we adapt to things and survive that we also adapt to the fact that our death is inevitable and we tend to forget it and just live in the moment more right so it's a strange thing honestly it's maybe it's maybe part of our whole survival thing that we don't think about it every day because it might drive people crazy at least some people many people would go crazy but in my case especially every time i have that thought i always make much better use of my time i make at least decisions that i regret less so i would love to have that in my head most times of the day right maybe not all the time all the time might drive me crazy too but most times would probably be a good thing so anyways so because of that thought, I convinced myself to get out there again. Although I was feeling completely out of it, I forced myself to go it. Went for the rock kick, rock, you know, 12 kg in my hiking bag and rocking. And during Strava, like I was thinking about the, I actually, I had that same, you know, that emotional thought. It was that stream of consciousness thing. It was along the same lines and while walking I was thinking more on it and then I came up with this amazing phrase and that is like what was that like it's important to have a dream but even better a nightmare because um, because people because what gets people moving what often gets people moving is not a six it's not isn't six pack abs but the obesity and diabetes 
so it's a bit I try to be a bit like tongue-in-cheek and stuff but it's true you know in my own experience as well my fitness journey on the physical side like I started doing the wake up thing initially that was like fixing my bed with the Jordan Peterson that starting where you can start small that stuff that's what my, my, was my very first beginning but like fitness wise like li literally fitness wise eh, proper like you know exercise and stuff that that journey it did start before that even like when and it started mainly because I was overweight when I came back from my, you know, after doing my studies and everything in Bangalore and coming back home uh, after my graduation and all. Um, I've, I fucked myself up a lot in Bangalore with snacking, late night snacks a lot, slept at 2 p.m., uh, 2 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., most days. And it was bad and I guzzled down sugary drinks, you know like carbonated drinks and stuff and that I, I i was i became so overweight and it was the heaviest I, I had ever been my whole life you know so i've always maintained i'm five eight by the way and my weight has always been around like 65 to 70 somewhere like that but that time I was 80, right? So it was way overweight for me, like the most overweight I've been my whole life. And I felt like shit. And then when I came back, that overweight looking at my own self, like, you know, and I felt, I was always insecure anyways, physical, on a physical side, because I was never like a built guy and stuff, even on the context of most people here. Uh, so like, yeah, I was like a geeky guy and nerdy guy, that kind of, I was always in that category and to, and on top of that, I had this vision issue as well, which hampered my physical confidence even more. So yeah, I was insecure to begin with a bit and then it made it worse when I was overweight and I felt like real shit, right? Meant physically I was at my worst and that's what got me it wasn't like dreaming of of course like any other guy i wanted to look sure that and a uh, six pack as and stuff but like those that, that wasn't what motivated me to go and walk the stairs for hours two hours three hours every day walk around here like in my room at night before going to bed completely exhausted because i had walked like two three hours while watching something or doing whatever else i was doing and stuff like that you know it wasn't the main motivating factor for me was just looking at my shitty self in the mirror and i'm like shit man i'm overweight as hell i need to lose this no matter what i don't want to feel like this anymore so it was it wasn't a dream right it wasn't those fancy good looks shredded body six-pack ab dream but it was that nightmare of what i was looking at myself in the mirror and the nightmare of it actually becoming worse because my age was catching up i was nearing 30s now i'm 30 already back then i was like around 27 28 somewhere so it was i was nearing 30s and i knew it would only get worse from here and that nightmare was what fueled my i guess return to my normal weight like usual weight before like three or four years back when i was younger so yeah so that line I came up with, I made it my post on Strava as well, on that rocking like activity. And yeah, I can, I, I like it came truly from my own first hand experience and stuff. And it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough. Like back then when I was young, you know, I always thought, honestly, I had some sort of pride, I guess, or, and maybe, I, because I've never been through it myself, I never understood why people were fat, you know? Like, why, why would someone willingly make themselves fat, right? And all that stuff, like, and then, because I went through that experience, you know, where I fucked myself up because of different reasons, I was lying to myself on so many fronts, and to run away from all the stuff, I binge on things, 
I like try to live in the moment, forgetting about my responsibilities, trying to run away from my own life and issues I had to face and deal with. And that food and binging and all nighters that I pulled were kind of my escape. Like, like uh, reading a lot of like guilty pleasure light novels and stuff. I was into anime anyway, so like lots of novels, <laughs> fantasy novels late RPG novels and just staying up all night watching YouTube and stuff and yeah it was it was bad like I did gain many of the people I follow now that inspire me to change are kind of a result of those moments where I was binging on YouTube and going through different communities and stuff but it was still like a very damaging part of my life like a dark past I guess in a way and it wasn't good, you know, I, I wasn't feeling my best at those moments. So, yeah, now looking back, those were what made me who I am today. But at the same time, if I had the choice, maybe, maybe I could have made better decisions. So, yes, that thing is true. Even now, when I think of what drives me to do the things I'm doing, it's not like I'm doing some crazy stuff like David Goggins, but for the me who was around two or three years back what i'm doing now is still like a superhero shit you know just the discipline i'm having with a lot of stuff some i'm procrastinating like like my japanese lesson like my music i'm still procrastinating on those two a bit like but at least with my other stuff especially my running and exercise on that front i'm doing very well my typing yeah, I do procrastinate it, but it's still better, way better than what I was doing at, uh, like a year back and stuff. And so, and waking up early, that's the one thing I'm doing the best. I haven't missed at all in the last almost two years now. Just once probably I missed, that's it. And I've been awake by 5.30 this whole almost two years now, right? So this is like, um, what I'm doing now is like someone I could respect even when I was at my worst. And so, yeah, it's, you know, all this stuff I'm doing, the main driving force. Yeah, I want to be at a great place. And as I like <laughs> pompously, I guess, proclaimed in my description about sex and in YouTube, on Instagram as well, like all my, honestly, all my, all my social media like Instagram, Strava and YouTube. This is where I'm doing this stuff, accountability with social media. So in all this, I'm like clearly stated, I'm, I want to be great, you know, gambling for greatness and all that stuff. And which is true. I truly mean what I'm saying. Uh, and so like, I have all this like great ambition and dream, but the real driving force still is the, you know, the true like, that mo those moments where I truly felt like a piece of shit and I still do in many levels but like like how I explained myself in a video a few days back like I'm still a piece of shit you know like I was back two or three years back but I'm now I'm a bit more confident piece of shit right <laughs> so like yeah it's still you know it it's still there's a nightmare chasing me still and it will probably chase me for a long, long time to come. And yeah, like I still know that if at any moment, if I let go of what I'm doing, of the whole discipline I'm doing now, I will end up at that place and maybe in even a more worse place because like, you know, I'm short of two years now from two years back. So like, yeah. Uh, I think Jordan Peterson or who was it? They also put it that way. I think I've heard similar stuff from many people that like to be successful and most success successful people, they do have a strong drive and a dream and a goal post to guide them or something they're chasing after. But at the same time, they have like a, a, a huge insecurity or something like that that's chasing them from behind as well. So it's like two way force. They are chasing something, but something is chasing them as well. So in my case, it's those nightmares, you know, like the night. And to be specific, it's that like 
that potential that if I cut loose on myself, if I lose the discipline I have now barely cultivated, I might end up in a situation worse, in a very bad place, like a lonely loser who, ha who has nothing going for him, who has no self-respect for himself as well, and who just feels like shit, you know, and has no co good quality relationships, is isolated completely, is broke as fuck, and yeah, a miserable old man without anyone around and you know all those stuff and it's a dark place you know but that's why we're so all struggling you know we want to be a good place with a great family with good relationships with great friends with a good career um, with a shredded body with six-pack abs and all this good stuff so it's yeah it's it's that's how it is. It's like, although I made that phrase very mm, in a lighthearted way, kind of, by adding all this, you know, like, like making it a bit lighthearted, but like many of my darkness is there, you know, <laughs> so it's something I truly mean it. So that's it for today. That's all I wanted to, all I truly wanted to share today. And it's a good line. I'll probably write it down and post it here as well. And it's something I came up with on my own. So it's an original. And when I was a kid, I used to do that a lot. Just mix up lines and stuff. Or like use it. And even this, probably someone said it better. But, you know, I did get the inspiration today to arrange it this way. So, you know, I'll end it with that. So like, the exact words are a bit different probably. But I'll probably check and then write it down on the description how I wrote it on Strava but it's basically it's important to have a dream even better a nightmare because what often gets people moving isn't six-pack abs but obesity and diabetes <laughs> that's it see you guys on the Japanese lesson that I'm going to record right after here. All right. Later.